Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts and we're looking at the Fellow Ode Gen 2, which at least in appearance is very similar to the original Ode. The journey to the Gen 2 is actually super cool. Fellow believed that everything is a prototype, work in progress and an evolution, even if it's a product they already have out in the market. And I love this concept. Before we look into What's changed in the Gen 2? If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow. Now, the minor updates. The original Ode from Fellow was awesome, yet there were some complaints. Mainly, it was somewhat messy. It had static. You had to use the RDT method, or spray some water, on the brain to bring that static down. You couldn't really grind fine enough for the lighter roast, and there was this annoying beep at the end of grinding. So first things first, what has changed? The hoppers become a little bit bigger at now 100 grams with a more aggressive feed angle. And the guide inside the hopper has changed slightly due to the new burrs. It still has the 31 notches of dialing in. It's just more the positioning of those notches and what you get out. Because you got the larger hopper, you now have the larger coffee catcher. And that means you can do more batch brewing and they got rid of the annoying beep at the end of the grind cycle. When it comes to burrs, Fellow went on an insane journey to produce their own burrs in-house after testing every OEM burr and not being truly happy. They had some requirements for what they wanted. Firstly, they wanted to be able to grind down to two to 300 microns, basically grind finer. They wanted to have quantitative improvements in the particle size distribution and most importantly, they wanted the burrs to be backward compatible with the original Ode, not to leave any customers hanging. After a crazy amount of R&D for Nick at Fellow and 23 iterations, they were finally happy and the Gen 2 burr finally hit mass production. There's actually a super cool blog on the Fellow website talking about this journey, which we'll link down below. One thing to note though, it's still a filter-based burr and not for espresso coffee. When it came to designing the Gen 2 burrs, Fellow wanted to produce a burr that had a wide appeal, that works well from light to dark roasts, from different origins, in different processing methods. What they ended up with was a burr that produces a sweet, balanced, complex cup with enough clarity to respect the bean. So effectively now, there are three blades. The standard, the Gen 2, and the SSP blades. So with the standard blades, you get high clarity, high acidity that really works from the 550 microns and upwards. With the Gen 2 burrs, you get a balanced flavor profile, enhanced body and sweetness, and medium clarity, working at 250 to 300 microns and upwards. With the SSPs, they're more laser focused. You get extreme clarity and flavor separation, working at 300 microns and upwards. Although the Gen 2 burr set has been a major focus of improvement, another area which has significantly improved is the exit chute. It now has very low static and very low retention. They've achieved this with the use of an ionizer, which works while the grinder is activated. Now this technology has come from anti-static hair dryers and morphed its way into coffee. Overall, it produced a lot cleaner grind, really noticeable in the coffee catcher and ultimately noticeable in your filter coffee. So the big question remains, which grinder is best to get, the original or the Gen 2? Well, this really depends on you. If you don't already have a grinder, the Gen 2 is a little bit of a better grinder. The blades are nicer, and the fact that it's such a clean grinder with next to no static is awesome. And a few little features like the bigger hopper are nice, and the no beep is awesome. But it does come at a price premium over the Gen 1. If you already have a Gen 1 and you're happy with it, then stay with it, no need to update. If you want to grind finer, then you could just get the Gen 2 burrs put in, if the static was annoying you, you could use the RDT method or it could be an excuse to get the Gen 2 grinder as a whole. So one little disclaimer, unlike every other review on this channel where I own the product, in this case, the Gen 2 was given to me by Fellow to test and review. But I'd like to now know your thoughts. Do you prefer the original or do you really like the upgrades of the Gen 2? Let me know in the comments below. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next video.